Well, it's Tuesday. Overcast in the 70s. Breeze about 18 to 20. And that's the lowest it's been lately. It's really got the beach cut back everywhere. The bay has got big cuts on it. The land, the nada has got big cuts on it. And that can mean only one thing. We're going to the land of nada, the Mumbles land. And me. And you see, I have two scoops. I have a friend of mine going, a new guy. Never been detected before. He's from the mountains. He's coming down. He's, he lives here at the beach, but he has a home in the mountains. He rents cottages. I got the CTX in here charging. I got the minnow in the garage. My leader's in Ballhead Island for a couple of days. I'm going to use the uh, CTX and let him use the uh, Knox. He's thinking about buying one. What have I been doing to the minnow? Let's see. I moved the... Uh, I moved the... Uh, Umbrella thing, I got one over there now. And I put two eyes right here. Just for, I don't know why. I got a, uh, I cut that off a little bit. I bought two of these caddies, like my buddy Rick's got in South Carolina. I put one there. These got big suction cups on them. But when I got home from the Walmart, the other one didn't have but one suction cup. I left it, fell off right. I didn't get it, I don't know. So I put it right here and screwed it on with some screws to the back of the seat. Pretty sturdy little rig. I may have to move that. I may not need but one. Other than that, I haven't been doing much to the minnow. I'm going to take a route Thursday, though. I think I'm going down to Owls Creek where Dick fishes through the inlet in the land of Nala. We'll see how it goes. I got a cool, some cool knives yesterday from my guy. He sent me some about a month ago. I don't know if you remember them or not. He sent me four more today. This is a cool knife right here. Called a Manly. It says Bulgarian made comrade. I don't know, but I like it. And the other is a big old nice puma. 915 pocket knife. I've never seen one of these before. I sharpen a lot of Puma case knives, but never one of these tickets. Let's take it outside where you can see it. I mean, this is a nice knife right here, other than being very dull. Look at it. Good gracious me. I like it. A nice ticket either. Okay. That's it. I'm waiting for the Mumbles man to pick us up. That guy's going to meet us here at 9. So we got about 45 minutes. And we'll be heading to the land of Nada. There's my contractor coming over. He lives across the street from us. Oh, I might as well show you the kitchen. Stand by. Well, the, the floors are done. Not the last coat, but the, the I guess the second coat or next to the final coat or something. I don't know. That's the old floor. This is the new floor. And we've been cramped up in this little area right here. Everything's in this room. Refrigerator, oven, dishwasher, carnivores. That's where we've been living right there. <laughs> anyway, they're going to move all this stuff back in here today. <coughs> they got to cut a big hole in the floor right here with the uh, downdraft on the stove, the oven. I guess the plumber's gonna come and hook the sink up. And I know he's coming to hook the, to cut the hole in the floor and hook the gas line. The gas line's already here, he's gonna hook that up. He put a new water spigot in for the uh, dishwasher. I mean, uh, the refrigerator. He made this space a little wider and a little higher in case Chris wants to upgrade to a newer refrigerator down the road when we got only a couple years old big old jack he's outside and the poor little indian is in her hole scared to death she's been scared and she's they had curtain they had plastic up separating the two rooms you know we couldn't come in this room at all 
And that flapping noise, that scared her. She wouldn't come in. She ain't been inside. Yesterday was the first time she's been in since Friday. She's a scaredy little dog. Well, when I get home, be a lot of changes here. I'll show them to you. Labor Day weekend, you wouldn't know it though. Really? <clears throat> the place is deserted because it's a bad storm and everybody's staying away till the weekend, I guess. <clears throat> this looks like middle of September now. The land of nada. I know the storm has messed the beach up. I don't know if it's going to be big cuts like I told you yesterday or not, but we'll find something down here. Probably a lot of detectors too. <clears throat> Looks like October. <laughs> they even got the lifeguards cut back to every other beat, every other block. Instead of every block. That's very awesome. All right, we're off. There goes the mumbles man. That's my buddy Richard from the mountains. His first day. He's just using my detector to see if he wants to buy one. He's going to be a relic hunter, I think, and a beach hunter. Stand by. We're going in. I got the CTX. He's got my 600. CTX says stop here. 13. 12, 13. First scoop. Looks like a piece of copper. his first target. Kick it out with your foot like this. Just kick it like this. There you go. Kick it out some more. First target's a ring. Can't yeah, beat that. <laughs> New age tungsten carbide. <laughs> Here's what I found. Listen to that. Hey, it's a little piece of copper. We'll find a lot of that down here. <coughs> well, you find a ring on your first target the first time you ever go detect it, and that'll hook your ass, I tell you that. Richard might be hooked right now deep. The hook is set. Happens. I found a copper down here by the edge of the water. He found a reed, the, the ring in mid-beach where you see them out there. Both of them are at the same spot. Well, that's a good sign, I think. I guess we'll know more how good it was later. A lot of iron here too. Uh oh. I must hit the sand, I guess.
by this time. That damn knock is putting it on us. Like I said, she likes little teeny tiny pieces of junk. Two pennies. The number seven here. Seven. This is a seven. I don't see no knockout gold ring nowhere. No, I don't either. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's, it's right in there, but you know. There it is, right there. <laughs> Whatever it is, we ain't worried about it. It says a 9 to 11. Still says 11. I don't see anything, but it's little, I guess. O2 out. I got no clue what it is. Whatever it is, is a little. Foil, I think. Twenty-three. I might see it right there. Bring the scoop. That looks like just like what Thomas found. Bring the scoop.
<laughs> That's the problem with the dam. Now these you can't dump out. You gotta let the waves wash them out because if you don't, it'll the waves are carried back in the ocean. Right here. I'll drop your sand out, get you another bite. There. Right, dump it out, get you another bite. These things go too deep. Down there. What was it, Danny? It was 24, 25. Yeah. yeah. 22. 22. 25. Good. I feed the scoop, just wash your scoop out. It was a six. You see it? Looks interesting. Stand by, we'll go wash it off. Jasmine. Uh, I like it. Yellow. I got what appears to be a big butt. I can't think if there's anything on it but circles, but. I know it's a button because it's still got the shank on the back. Interesting. Somebody else found a button down here yesterday, I think. Or maybe it was the day before. Maybe Richard. <clears throat> I can't remember. Kind of high and kind of deep. Just a blow to black sand. It's going to be a, a penny. One cent. <laughs> How you making that now? Get some coins. <coughs> oh, yeah. Well, I got a ear. I got a bling ear ring. How about you? you? Got some coins too. How about Richard? How's he doing? Oh, I guess he's doing all right. I showed him the, the button to the discriminate and the all metal. I said you go back and forth on that. And see which one you like best. I said the all metal digs a little. Good. Solid 13. I don't see nothing. Black sand. Now I see five cent. Friday, but it's five cent nonetheless.
I got a grow. I got a. I got two. Uh, two little chain things. Yeah, you said you found something up high. Up oh, here. Yeah. And I got a button of some sort. That's gold too, isn't it? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, quarter. That's what I thought it was. Well, 16. Solid. We got it. Three scoops. I don't know what it looks like. Junk. These are junk. That's what it is. Rivet or grommet or something. I don't know if you can see or not on the camera, but it's misty raining now. It's been misty raining for about 40 minutes. We're not wet, but we're just damp. We're headed back now. I don't know if it's getting any worse or better, but. This is not improving. Man, that's a mermaid. <clears throat> Let's see how it goes. 12 10. 12 09. 12 10. <laughs> 12 09 out. See, it looks like junk to me. Yep. One of those things. Twelve oh seven. Twelve oh seven. Give you an idea of the wind. She's puffing down here today. <laughs> That's a lot of wind. We're going the hell out of here. The land of Nada. This is your town, Tuffy. Yeah, that's got to be a 410 though. I don't think it could be anything else. Yeah, look at as small as it is. Yeah. Brand new though, never been fired. Promise you that, like Denny said. You got a bunch of casing. I didn't find no casing. There's your ring. I'm pretty sure that's tungsten by the weight of it. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> see if you can see tungsten. You got good eyes? See, if, see what it says inside. I'm sure it's tungsten. Yeah, it got a key zipper i got two zippers i didn't get no zippers today you yeah, even got gray matter man he was on the tickets today look at that Let's go to quarters yeah tungsten carbide that's what it says huh? i knew yeah. it was <laughs> you can tell by the way you find a lot of titaniums but they're not nearly as heavy titanium. they're beautiful rings they fit comfort fit they're nice rings they just no value to them you know you did all right that old knox was knocking right along 410. Huh. Huh. That's good. Yeah, pretty it is. I like it. <laughs> well, I'm on my second knife run. I just picked up a nice Japanese Global. I'm bound uh, 20 miles away 
picking up, I'm not sure, eight or ten knives. And then I got to drop the ones off I picked up yesterday. It's a nice kind of afternoon. I'll get back to you. Got some fancy tickets here, boys. Great balls of fire. Wait till we get home. Okay, here's a nut. <clears throat> Five nickels, four dimes, <clears throat> four quarters, 14K Jasmine, 925 Camara, and silver, but no name or nothing like that. A couple pennies, some odds and ends junk. You know how it goes. I'm knifed up for tomorrow. Farmer's market in the afternoon. Hope to see you Thursday. Well, I guess you're going to do the dishwasher tomorrow. They got most of the big draw pulls on. And the little draw pulls. There's only a couple of them left to go. The stove is in place. The refrigerator is in place. I may have already told you this. I can't remember if I did this or not. If I did, I just deleted it out. You won't hear it. And like I said, the countertop guys are coming in tomorrow to put the countertops in. Boo-boo. What do you think? So we got rid of the refrigerator and we got rid of the dishwasher. I mean the oven that was over here. So we got a little more room in here. And the carnivores are hungry. I'll get back to you. Hey, boo -boo. What do you think, boo, -boo? Here comes Jacko Big. You better get off this floor with the long nails you got. You'll be in the doghouse. Hi, Indian. I'm scared of Indian. <laughs>